Hey guys, this is just a quick video to show you the uh, tilt mechanism using the NASA. Uh, you can do this with the DJI Phantom as well. Uh, your, as I showed in my last video, your stock controller does have an extra channel on the back there, so you can control another channel. Uh, it's proportional, so if you stick something in there like a screwdriver and, and turn it, you will see your uh, X1 channel on your NASA Assistant moving. Uh, so you'll be able to pan your uh, gimbal up or down. Now I'm using my Futaba T8J. Uh, I use this on the, uh, my 550 and on my Phantom. It's binded to both of them. Uh, so as you can see, I can look up, look straight down, or up slightly. Again, it's proportional. Depending on where I move this to, I can leave the uh, the gimbal looking. It doesn't have to be all the way up or all the way down. I can just put it up a bit, up a bit more, and so on. So that's why you want to set it to a proportional uh, channel instead of uh, a switch. But you can do if you want. I'd look straight ahead and flick a switch and have it look straight down. But uh, I prefer to be able to have the option to uh, adjust more minutely. A uh, great thing about this is uh, it doesn't mean you've lost your uh, tilt uh, axis when you're flying. As you can see, it still works. But if I uh, point it down, it continues to work. I can look right down or right up and it all works as usual it just gives me the option to look around and have a, a downward looking view while stabilized so it's uh, definitely worth doing uh, as also you've seen in my last video I've got the uh, legs on I haven't perfected these yet because I need to figure out a way of um, mounting these onto the frame but they work on channel B which is a switch here if I click that they just lift up and out the way so they're a little bit unsteady at the moment because they're just held on by zip ties uh, just to prove that the concept worked uh, so yeah that's it don't forget to uh, have a little go with this if you've got a, a camera gimbal on your 550 or on your Phantom just uh, program your radio on the X1 channel and you'll be all up and running to uh, pan up and down Another thing is, uh, as you can see, that locks up and down quite quick when using the uh, the knob. Now, if you go into your NASA Assistant on the computer, you've got your under the gimbal controls, your number four pitch X1. You can change the speed that that uh, angle. Uh, you can change the speed of which the pan operates. So, if I put that down to a speed of two, that's right. <coughs> now you see it act different when I. Uh, adjust the gimbal all the way one way all the way to the other you can see it's much slower now which gives you a really nice effect when you fly over something and look straight down and continue over it it looks fantastic uh, you can see Colin Gwynn again doing this with the Phantom so remember to adjust your speed if you want nice smooth tilting operation during flight